Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today I'm going to review a set that practically doesn't exist yet. It doesn't have a box and won't be available for another 6 months. I had the great opportunity to basically test build one of the finalists of the Brickling Designer Program Series 1. This is the old train engine shed from Mind the Brick. Please note that this model was built with brand new LEGO bricks following the almost final digital instructions and pre-production stickers were used, but there is no box or anything else to show you today. In case you are not familiar with the Bricklink Designer program, or BDP for short, let's recap. After a two-year invitation-only test phase, in 2023 Bricklink opened up the opportunity to submit your own designs and turn them into a BDP LEGO set. The whole thing runs under the Bricklink brand, but as we know Bricklink is now part of LEGO and if the box design follows the previous releases, it will have the LEGO logo too. In the first round last May, five finalists were selected, which you can see here. In contrast to LEGO ideas, the design here remains as close as possible to the original, there are perhaps only suggestions for quality improvements. How can you get these sets? They will not be sold in stores, crowdfunding starts on the 7th of February, all sets of the 5 that receive more than 3000 pre-orders will be produced and up to 30,000 sets will be made. Shipping is expected in July 2024. This is a single opportunity to get these sets in this form. 30,000 copies and they will be gone. Fewer sets were made in the first two invitational rounds, but they were very popular with collectors. So if you like any of them, you should place your order as soon as possible. Again, pre-order starts on February 7th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. The sets are available wherever you have a lego.com online store and you can pre-order two of each set. If you want to learn more about the program, I recommend checking out the link below in the description. So, one of the finalists is this beautiful set, the Old Train Engine Shed. It might look familiar if you follow closely the idea submissions reaching 10,000 votes, because Maria, the designer, submitted it there first, although it was slightly different then. This is the 10k club interview with her, which you can read on ideas.lego.com. I had the wonderful opportunity to talk to her about the design. As she told me, the changes were necessary mainly because of the differences between the two programs. Ideas is, surprisingly, really looking for ideas, so you can build freely and should not necessarily worry about the implementation of the design. In the BDP program, on the other hand, you basically design a product like a LEGO designer. It has to be buildable, offer a good building experience, and you also have to create the instructions. In addition, you only have a limited inventory at your disposal, and that's how this build came about. The idea submission started with the small yellow vehicle, as Maria had memories of trains and railroads from her childhood, and then evolved into a diorama with the shed included, which was mainly inspired by old European train sheds. As you can see, the BDP version has been made much larger, mainly to actually accommodate LEGO locomotives. I have just a few highlights of the building process today. This is the base, then the tracks were added inside. Individual display tracks are used to make it look nicer, and since this is primarily a display set, the concept of LEGO was used just like the Orient Express or the Crocodile train stands. Then we started adding the details. There are many many brick build tools that are very detailed and built with clever part usage, and some of them even have functional elements. Maria studied jewelry design, and most of these tools were familiar to her. Building the walls and windows was the less exciting part of the process, but here you can see how most of it was completed. The roof has an interesting structure because it is held at the right angle with these brackets and it is quite stable and sturdy. You can just lift it up and have a look inside the building. This is already the finished build with all the details inside. I love the crane with the capacity of 50 bricks, it runs very smoothly. There are many details to discover in the interior. As I have already mentioned, I really like the many tools, but there are also lots of other small elements. The large doors use the old sliding door elements in them, I had these in the fire station of my childhood, it's a great idea. At the other end of the building there is a small door that leads to an office. On the IDS submission there was a toilet with a funny figure in it. Since a very similar minifigure was included in one of the Winter Village sets, Maria decided to change it and made it into an office with even more small details. There are also lots of interesting features to discover in the outside area, I like the whole atmosphere of the build. The hand car or pump car is also very detailed, and even the handlebars work. It does not drive the car though, 
For that much bulkier Technic construction would have been necessary and Maria was more concerned with the appearance here. She's no stranger to Technic by the way, as she told me that the bucket wheel excavator was the first set she helped building to a friend after her dark ages and that she liked it so much that the first set she bought afterwards was the Mac Anthem. So how does a locomotive fit in here? We have to remove the minifigures and some of the accessories, but the Orient Express fits without the tender, the smaller Harry Potter locomotive fits even better. The tracks have the same race design as the stands of the Crocodile locomotive or the Orient Express, but I'm sure train fans will find a way to connect them to their layout if they want to. So is it worth 220 euros or 230 dollars? At 2331 pieces, it's a pretty big set, but when I compare it to the LEGO modular buildings for example, you get more pieces there for a similar price. But this is not a LEGO product, it's a unique build that LEGO would not release in this form normally. It is more like a mock, a custom build, but you can buy all the new pieces for it in one package from a single source. I really like the end result, the building experience was nice and balanced, and all the details, the functions, the representation of the tools and other mechanical things are great. I'm not a diorama guy, but this realization is perhaps the closest to my taste in that area, so I think it's worth the price. I know a lot of people are planning to buy BDP sets as an investment. That's your call, but I would rather advise buying these if you want to build and enjoy them, as it's much closer to the essence of this program. And if the price is too high for you or you have a large LEGO parts collection and can use some of it, the digital instructions and I assume the inventory as well will be available online after the release so you can build these sets yourself. So folks, what do you think of this set or the other BDP finalists? Do you plan on buying any of them? What do you think of the program itself? Let's talk about it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as there will be more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.